For months, I've been searching for what is the best way to batch process audio. Because Ableton does not have any way to quickly batch process audio. Say like you made a drum kit in 96K and you want to convert it to 44, 1, 24 bit to send out. Or say you made a whole album in 48K, but you want to dither it down to 44, 1, 24 bit for streaming. I got a couple things to do it. I tried downloading some cheap apps, but they never really sounded that good. I tried doing it in Studio One, which was actually pretty good. I got a batch processor for Studio One. It's like a $60 edition or something like that. And I also did it in Pro Tools, which is probably my favorite way to do it. But that involved opening another DAW. This app, you guys might know about this. It's called Isotope RX-8. The reason why I like Isotope RX-8 is because it has a really good batch processing algorithm. Surprisingly, Ableton and Isotope RX-8 both have near-perfect sample rate conversion algorithm. There's a website you can go to that will actually show you how the different algorithms compare. Ableton Live 10 has one of the cleanest, clearest. You can see there's no artifacts or distortion when looking at a sweep from 96K to 44.1. This website, it's src.infinitewave.ca. You can take two pieces of software and compare their sample rate conversion algorithm. So let's take FL Studio 7 and compare it to Ableton Live 10. Of course, FL Studio 7 has tons of artifacts and lots of aliasing. Let's look at FL Studio 20. Not even that good, wow. Okay, so Ableton has a much, much cleaner sample rate conversion algorithm than FL Studio. Let's look at Pro Tools. Pro Tools LE8, not good. Let's check Pro Tools 2019. Not even that great. Ableton, from what I found, has one of the cleanest algorithms. There's like no aliasing, but Ableton doesn't do batch processing, okay? See, Logic still has aliasing. Isotope RX 8.1, super clean. Intermediate phase. Isotope 64-bit sample rate conversion is like identical to Ableton, super clean. So anyways, if you guys want to test this, src.infinitewave.ca. Isotope RX 8, if I hit Command B, it opens up the batch processor. So basically, I can take a bunch of songs or samples and drag it into here. I can do all kinds of different effects if I resample. It even shows you resampling filters. You can select your sample rate, cutoff shift, pre-ringing, filter steepness, post limiter. There's some presets for CD and video and DVD. And you have access to all these other things, like you can de-reverb, de-hum, de-click. I haven't gotten into all these things, but for a simple resampling batch processor, I feel like RX-8 is probably the best I've found in terms of sound quality and just ease of use. I wish Ableton could do it, but it can't, because Ableton has an excellent sample rate converter, like one of the best in the business. Better than Pro Tools, better than Logic, better than FL. I haven't tested like Cubase and stuff, but... Ableton has an amazing sample rate conversion algorithm. So Isotope RX-8, highly recommend it. If you get it, make sure that you get the version that has batch processor and you hit command B to get to it. I've been searching for a while. I would say that this is probably the best batch sample rate converter that exists. There might be some others. I've heard of a couple others that people use, but this one is very good. And you can also set dither and things like that too.